Hi, my name is Jess. Welcome to Books Fast Bedtime. Okay, so before we start this video, I just have to show you this candle that I have. It says, smells like One Direction getting back together. Isn't it amazing? It honestly doesn't smell that good. <laughs> I don't care because I just like what it says. So as you've probably guessed from the title, today I am bringing you a recommendations video and in this video I'm going to recommend you books based on your favorite member of One Direction. So this is all just in good fun if I say something for some reason that offends you or you don't think I like characterize the boys correctly in my head, that's fine. We can all have different interpretations of things and none of us know them in real life so this is just all in good fun and I just paired some books that I thought kind of had characters that were similar to the One Direction boys or different things that reminded me of them. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So my personal favorite member of One Direction is Harry Styles. Um, that's just the way it is. That's just who I am and that's okay. So because Harry is my favorite, I have actually picked three books to recommend you if Harry is also your favorite member of One Direction. So the first book I want to talk about is actually Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book reminds me of Harry mostly because um, a lot of people think Daisy Jones is kind of inspired by Stevie Nicks and Fleetwood Mac. If you know Harry, you know he loves Stevie Nicks. He idolizes her. He takes a lot of inspiration from her and so I felt like I couldn't not recommend this book. Plus it deals with music and working with a band and all of those dynamic relationships that I feel would be really fun to read about if you just like One Direction in general. I just think this is a great recommendation. If you didn't know, Daisy Jones and the Six is written as like an interview style biopic of this band. Daisy Jones is the front man, the lead singer of this band. Kind of a similar figure to what Harry played in One Direction. He kind of was like always given the most solos and kind of was the face of One Direction, the most popular one. That kind of deal, I feel like he kind of relates to Daisy Jones in that way as well. But this book basically is just telling the story of this band, their different dynamics, their different relationships, how they worked well together, how they didn't work well together. And so I just think this is a great recommendation, not only if you love Harry, but also if you love One Direction and music in general. This is such a great book. I loved this book so much, gave it five stars, and definitely think if Harry holds a special place in your heart that this book will as well. Now if you are a Harry girl like myself you probably know about frat boy Harry. Um, some may say this is his golden age. Personally I like every age of Harry Styles so I also think that probably a lot of people who like frat boy Harry are also straight but um, if you're uh, queer and you also like frat boy Harry you should definitely read Top Secret by Serena Bowen and Ella Kennedy which is an enemies to lovers male male romance following these two frat brothers. This book is so funny um, and I I feel like it definitely has vibes of like fan fictions that were written in like the Take Me Home era of One Direction. So if you're really into that era, you're really into frat boy Harry, I can really see you liking this book. It definitely reminded me of some Larry fan fictions I've read. So if that's your thing also, um, read this book. <laughs> I just loved this book. I thought it was so much fun. I thought it was so funny. So... <laughs> I think if you like that kind of stuff, you would like this book as well. And I was going to just leave my recommendations there, but I also really want to talk about Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Gnuchow. I am not sure if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, but this is actually a graphic novel, so mixing it up a little bit, but I just had to recommend it because it is set in a bakery. And if you love Harry Styles, you know that if he wasn't famous, he would be a baker. <laughs> I worked at the bakery for about two and a half years. So this story follows this young boy whose parents own this bakery and they hire another boy his age for the summer to work there with him and these two boys form a friendship and later have a romance. This book is just really sweet, pure and cute and adorable and heartwarming which I feel like are all adjectives to also describe Harry Styles. I think if you love Harry Styles and you love his like innocent pure form you definitely would like this book. This book also features a music element is our main character who is the son of the bakery owner he is in a band and he really wants to get out of his hometown and not be a baker anymore and be in this band. So like if you love Harry Styles, there's no way you wouldn't love this book because there are just so many similarities, so many parallels, and I feel like Harry himself would probably really like this book as well. Okay, now that I gushed about Harry Styles for who knows how long. Next we are going to talk about Zane. So this might be kind of controversial but Zane will always be in One Direction in my heart and so Zane is being included in this video. Um, I definitely felt a sense of betrayal when he left the band. I'm right there with you. I was at school. I cried. I was a senior in high school. I cried in school. It's okay. <laughs> 
but for the purposes of this video Zane is a part of One Direction and he always will be in my mind and in my heart. I'm gonna give you some book recommendations if you are a Zane girl. So if you are a Zane girl you probably like kind of like the bad boy skater boy boy with tattoos kind of deal. Um, you also probably like kind of reserved emotionally stunted maybe boys you know you know what I'm talking about. Um, so my first recommendation for you if you are a Zane girl is Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. So this is kind of like a YA new adult sort of romance. Um, it's set in college so the characters are a little bit older but it follows our main characters Penny and Sam. They kind of have a chance encounter, exchange phone numbers, and really start to form a relationship over text. Sam really gives me Zane vibes because he has tattoos, he is kind of down on his luck and trying to figure things out, and he's also just kind of that like brooding like moody dark kind of character that I feel like Zane girls will really vibe with. So if you love Zane I really think you would like this book and connect to the love interest in this book and I would really recommend this one. If you are a Zane girl, I feel like you would also like The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This is an enemies to lovers office place romance and our main love interest, Josh, is kind of like reserved, emotionally stunted in a way, but secretly a huge sweetheart. Although our main character Lucy believes that Josh hates her with his whole being, um, he actually was just trying to like play games and flirt with her. Um, he actually has a huge crush on her. He is very much attracted to her, but he just doesn't know how to express that properly but as we go through the book we really find out that he is just such a sweetheart under his like kind of cold exterior and so I feel like Zane girls will really like this love interest and connect to him and this is just a great book this is one of my favorite books that I've read in 2020 so honestly even if you're not a Zane girl and you really want a good enemy to lovers romance this is one of my most highly recommended romances okay so personally Liam is my least favorite member of One Direction but I do still see how he has his merits and I can still see how you could be a Liam girl. So if you are personally a Liam girl, you might like book characters who are a little more serious, a little more protective. Those kind of traits are what I associate with Liam. So the first book I would recommend to you is Beach Read by Emily Henry. This is an enemies to lovers romance between these two authors who have always kind of been rivals. They went to college together, but then they have another chance encounter and they both are also suffering from writer's block at this time. Our main male character, Augustus, writes literary fiction, while our female character, January, writes romance and so in order to overcome their writer's block they decide and kind of dare each other to switch genres. They don't believe the other will be able to write their respective genres so this takes them on a journey a new relationship forms and they really come to understand each other a lot. So Augustus as a character really reminds me of Liam. January sees him as somebody who takes himself very seriously is kind of a little bit full of himself almost but then she really comes to learn that he is just a sweetheart and he really is perfect for her once she gets him to have a little fun and breaks down his walls and so if you are a Liam girl I think you would really love this romance. It was definitely very cute. I very much enjoyed it myself so would definitely recommend. And then if you are a Liam girl I would also recommend Dear Ava by Isla Madden Mills. This is also an enemies to lovers romance but it is set in high school. It's a little bit younger but it is honestly steamier than Beach Read so this does have some mature content just so you know. Dear Ava follows these two characters. Our main character Ava had something horrible happen to her at a party last year. She comes back to school her senior year determined not to let this define her life and she starts talking to Knox who is one of the most popular boys in school. Ava doesn't want anything to do with these popular boys but she kind of gets thrown into a group project with Knox and has to associate with him and she comes to learn that he is actually a really great guy. He is very protective of, of both her and his brother and his family. He just is a very loyal, very protective, just a really great guy who really cares about Ava a lot. I feel like he really has a lot of characteristics that Liam also exemplifies so if you are a Liam girl I think you would really like this book and I think you would really like this love interest. He is great. He is hot. And <laughs> this is a, just a really fun book. I liked it a lot. Next up, All My Nile Girls. I feel like you guys are like fun loving. You like fun characters, funny books, things that just make you happy and excited about life. And so here are my recommendations for you guys. The first one I want to talk about is My Favorite Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren. This is one of my favorite Christina Lauren books. I think this is so fun. This follows our main character and she is like one of the guys. She's a part of this group of four boys. Um, they're all friends friends but they all kind of like dare each other to get a date to this event this wedding or something that they're going to I don't remember exactly what it is but um so they all create dating profiles on this dating app our main character isn't taking it super seriously so she kind of creates an almost catfish profile and she ends up matching with one of her guy friends and they start talking and she starts to realize that they might be um kind of perfect for each other even though they have vowed to never date each other so as you can probably tell this gets a little messy but this is one of also the funniest Christina Lauren books I've read it was so fun and 
the main love interest kind of reminds me of Niall. He's just like a fun loving funny guy and this is just such a quick light fluffy read and I think if you like Niall you would really like this book and you would really like this love interest. And also with the group of guy friends of my favorite half night stand if you like One Direction in general and you like the interactions between the boys I think you would also find my favorite half night stand a fun time. The second book I want to recommend for you now girls is actually Illuminae by Amy Kristoff and Jay Kaufman. What? <laughs> by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. It's got glare, sorry. This is a really fun YA sci-fi series. It is written, if you didn't know, in like different files. It's like a case file, basically, of what happened on this spaceship. This is a super fun, fast-paced book following our main characters, Katie and Ezra, as they navigate their planet getting invaded. And actually, the day before the invasion, Katie had just broken up with Ezra, and after the planet is invaded, she can't find him any longer. So I feel like as a Nile girl, you're just looking for a fun time. This book is definitely that. Ezra also definitely reminds me of Niall. He is just such a fun, sweet guy, and I kind of think he also like plays the guitar or something like Niall, so <laughs> a bonus. Unless I just made that up, I don't really remember to be honest with you, but this is one of my favorite series of all times, and I think if you are a Niall girl, you would really enjoy it. And then finally, My Sweet Louie, my second favorite member of One Direction. Sorry, Louie, but... <laughs> You're very close. You're a very close second, I promise. I feel like it was the hardest for me to pick recommendations for Louis. I don't know why exactly. I think because he's kind of like very close to my heart as well. Um, and there's a, like a lot of facets to his personality. So I'm not really sure exactly what books a Louis girl would like. But I did find one that I think really fits him perfectly. Almost like I wish it didn't, but um, it does. <laughs> and that is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. As you guys probably know, if you're a Louis girl, Louis has lost his mother. Um, she actually ended up sadly passing away from cancer and so this book just really reminds me of Louis. I can really see Louis as the main character in this story. I wish that I didn't but this book just kind of called to me. Louis has had a lot of tragic things happen in his life so I feel like recommending a sad book was kind of fitting. Um, this is definitely a very serious very sad book but I feel like I can see Louis in the main character Connor and so I wanted to mention it. Sorry for that heavy note but I just felt like that book was too fitting not to mention. Um, for Louis' second recommendation, this is kind of one that also applies if you just like One Direction in general, um, and that is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. The Raven Boys is a YA magical realism series following this group of four boys and one girl who are all friends and they're going on like an expedition to find a dead Welsh king. Sounds really weird. It makes more sense when you're reading the book, but I wanted to mention this one because of the friendships in it and the friend group in it. I feel like it's very reminiscent of One Direction and their relationships to each other, and I wanted to recommend this book under Louis because I feel like Louis is really like the glue of the group. He is the one I feel like that everyone in the group feels closest to and has had the closest relationships with all the different members. Um, I feel like his friendship ships with all the other members of One Direction are like one of his main draws. Like he's just such a fun, bright person. And so I feel like he really embodies the spirit of like the group and all the friendships. And that's what The Raven Boys really reminds me of. I loved reading this book so much because I loved all of the different friendships in it and the relationships the boys had with each other. So if you are a Louis girl and and just a One Direction girl in general, I really think you would love The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater and would recommend you checking that out. So that is going to be it for this video today. Let me know in the comments down below if you thought these recommendations were any good, if you thought they were terrible, what would you recommend instead? Regardless, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've been wanting to do this for a while because I just love One Direction so much and I also love books so much, so I wanted to combine them. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. All the relevant links will be in the description down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.